Hey everybody, it's me. I was working on trying to get rid of some scrap papers. Uh, you know, I have a few papers left over from a, a craft ad or whatever. And uh, I decided to make uh, like a Christmas scrapbook. Um, what I've done is, <clears throat> I don't know if, you know, you got those extra papers from a scrap pad that didn't, um, that you didn't use. And some of these, here we go, some of these were from a Christmas album or Christmas scrap pad I had that was very mellow, but um, very pretty nonetheless, you know? And what I had done was, uh, there, it was a 12 by 12, and um, I quartered them, make them all, you know, six by sixes. And uh, so I decided, you know, hey, this is what I'm going to do. But yeah, so, you know, because I don't want a 12 by 12 scrapbook. Those things are hard to uh, store and, and all of that. Now you can use um, recycles, you know. Uh, I keep a lot of my small boxes like Zatarains. This is one of my favorite things to eat in the world is dirty rice. Um, and, you know, the littler boxes to use as opposed to paying for chipboard. I did have a couple of pieces of chipboard left over. I just wanted to go ahead and get rid of and get it out of my stash. So what I did was I took some of these um, six by six pieces that I had and had some extra green scrapbook paper. Um, it's pretty heavyweight. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put this together. These are six by six. And I'm going to have to trim them down a little bit because I made these a little bit smaller. I was going to try and fold over the edges, but I thought, nah, I don't want to do that. I just want to get rid of some scraps and use up what I have. So this is what I'm going to do. All right. So I made, this is going to be my cover, this is going to be my inside. It's got a little bit of glitter on it. <clears throat> I like simple and elegant things. So I'm going to get some tape. These are 6x6, six six. these are 6x6, six six. well these are a little bit bigger. And the papers I cut for the pages are 5 and 7 8 by 5 and 7 8 So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to attach this. I'm going to put some double-sided sticky tape on it. And I'm going to throw a little bit of glue down. I don't like using glue so much on paper because uh, it wants to tend to buckle up. And I don't, I don't like the bubbles. But I know tape sometimes isn't quite enough. Uh, where's my glue? Eileen's tacky glue is really thick, so a lot of times when I use it, I'll just kind of spread it down a little bit so I don't get as many of the bumps and the, the raised ridges. I'll let me pull off the tape. Get it. Sometimes fingernails are not a blessing. Sometimes they're very aggravating. I did forget to burnish them down, so 
Do that. Oh, good grief. There we go. I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos, and a lot of crackers do this, so this is not, you know, something that I came up with. I learned this by watching somebody else. If there's tape left over on the edges, fold it back on itself. that. So yeah, the holidays are coming up. And uh, my children are out of state, so it's the one time a year that I get the hope and the chance of seeing them. There we go. Going to line it up with the holes. See, there's a little bit of an edge. Isn't that pretty? I always loved this paper. Never really knew what to do with it. Right, here's this one. So I'm going to trim the edges on this really quickly. It's not really enough to fold over edge. So I'm just going to trim it. And if you don't like, you know, the brown craft edge, you could always, you know, add lace or ribbon or there we go. Now I did make um, one mistake when I went to cut these out. Um, I started to cut them all out, you know, like the same way, like this. But then when I got trying to put it together, I was like, when I flipped it, I was like, oh. Um, and they didn't line up that way and all that. So I had to, when I went to cut them, I'd cut this one. And then the inside that I wanted on this way, I'd have to turn it this way just to make sure that all the holes lined up. So let's do this side. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I haven't went to the craft store in quite a while. I mean, several months. Because I've got so much stuff that I want to kind of get used. And to me, it didn't make sense to continue buying wrap things when uh, you know I had so much so I've been watching a lot of videos and checking out Pinterest and going through my old um, I keep a three ring binder with uh, project sheets and and things that I've seen, you know, like for instance, these things that you get from Hobby Lobby, uh, the little free project sheets, inspirations, and things like that. When I used to see see them, I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in forever, but uh, 
if I would see one that piqued my interest, I would take a copy. And then they'd go in my binder and I'd never use them. And so I decided that I was going to start going through them and seeing, you know, what I could do. The only thing that I noticed is most of them that I have, like I just made these in a previous video. Most of these that I have, they've got some great ideas on the inside, but they don't have instructions. Okay, all they have are just project ideas. And so it takes me a little bit to uh, figure out, you know, the best, best and the easiest way to create the projects I see. So what I'm just doing now is just putting it all together. Now for the holes, there's a couple ways you can go about doing it. Um, some of my journals I use, uh, I guess they're called book rings. Um, They look like these. I've got some different sizes, and I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. You know, they're the, the, the rewind. They're hinged, okay? They're not um, like the slip rings. And you could use those. That's not what I wanted to do this time. Because I've got, you know, so many pieces and... Oh, I forgot the glue. So many pieces of scraps and leftover ribbons and um, laces and all kinds of stuff. So I wanted to try and just make some projects using only leftovers and scraps and, and things like that. So that is what I've been working on. And I'm hoping, you know, to be able to start doing some more videos Alrighty, let's make sure I got the right one. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, this is the one, I think. Nope. Oh goodness. I had them separate. There we go. <clears throat> On this side, I'm going to trim it up just a little. Okay, so now I have my cover and the inside liner. So let me do the other one and I will be right back. I'm uh, trying to determine. I kind of like this one because it's got the sun, the snowflakes rather on the front. So, and it goes with the theme that I want to use to decorate. All right, so this will be my front cover. This is my back cover. Yeah. All right. And then these, like I said, I cut these out at five and seven eighths all the way around. So it gives me not a whole lot, but just a little bit of an edge. Let's see, I'm blurry. Okay. 
do just a little bit. Now with this, yeah, these are the snuff flakes. Gives me a little bit of an edge. And I can put them together. But I'm going to decorate the cover first, which is really, really easy. I got this, um, I don't even know what it is. It's a hole punch, and you can set it for, you know, different parts on the page. It's got the little measurements in here. You can see that. Anyway, uh, I got this at Tuesday morning for like five bucks. It works um, fairly well. You know to give me uniform holes so oh we we're gonna decorate this first all right I just went through some graphics and found some more scrap papers I had this looked really nice matches with that really well I don't know why my screen my lights are looking yellow I, I want to do it this way yeah I think I'll do it that way and this matches really nicely. I had to put a little bit of glitter around the edges because it was kind of flat. You see that? So I'm going to attach this now. And because it's Eileen's, I'm going to smooth it out. There's some other glues out there that I've seen that are probably a little bit better. But where I'm at in this uh, area of the country is they they. There's not a lot of options, you know, so most of the stuff, if I want specifically, uh, I have to go online to get. But because I already have glue and, and tape and things like that, um, I did ink the edges, give it a little bit more of a definition. But, um, you know, before I buy any more, I want to use up what I have. You know, sometimes you get in that mindset where, oh, that's a good craft. That's a good idea. That's, you know, I can use this for something. <laughs> and then you find you've got, you know, 12 tubes of glue or 12 bottles of glue. You've got 700 rolls of ribbon and 35 rolls of tape. And, well, yeah, it'll, it's all being, you can all use it. But, You know, I mean, so yeah, it builds up after a while if you're not using it all the time. There we go. See, you know, isn't that pretty? Those colors go really nice together. And it says being together. Uh, if it'll focus. There we go. Being together is the best gift of all. And now I'm going to, I had a whole different setup, you know, um, I was going to put on this. And then when I pulled it off, I mean, I glittered a die cut I had. You know, you build them up, you get your new die cut, and you make like 50 of them and you figure I'll use them for this or I'll use them for that. And this was the die cut I had. If you can see that. And it's pretty intricate. You see that? The red didn't quite match, so I glittered it. And I was going to put that on there, thinking, you know, hey, that looks good. It was almost too much, so when I pulled it off and then these had fallen to the wayside, I thought, ooh, I like this a little bit better. It's a little bit more, you know, elegant. Now it's just finding how you want to put them on. 
then sometimes when you do your punches, I've got the snowflake punch, right? And you think you're lined up and you don't, and you end up with like a half of a snowflake. See that? Isn't that pretty? Instead of throwing it out, put it on the edge of a page and it looks like the snowflake just going off the edge. See that? Right there. And then just doing the snowflakes on one side. Pull that down a little. Uh, pull that one down a little. Okay, I got one more. I thought there was one off. There we go. Pull that one up a little. And then just on the one side. So I'm going to squeeze a blob and then I'm going to spread it because if you don't spread it, these little snowflake um, wings, I guess you call them, uh, will lift. And I don't want them to lift because then they'll tear off. And it won't look very good. Move that down. There we go. Oops. There it is. This is just really simple. I had, you know, you get scraps of paper and they're so pretty, you really don't want to throw them out, right? So I'll get my punches out and I'll use up scraps and uh, with my punches. And this one I had, I think I had a, a I had used a die cut. Yeah, I was using die cuts to make you know, like little Christmas trees with the paper. I had like chunks of scraps left over and I didn't really want to throw it away because they were so pretty. I know, the bane of a crafter, right? I can't throw that away, it's gorgeous. That's not quite enough. And you always think, I can use that for something. Even if you just get like little strips left over, I can make a tassel with that, or I can do this, or I can do that. And then you end up having, you know, a whole refrigerator box, you know, refrigerator size box full of scraps that you really just don't know what to do with. And yes, you can make clusters, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um with your scraps. But sometimes you just, you got to have that inspiration or, you know, they just sit there. I know mine have for some of my scraps I've had for several years. Make sure those are all pressed down. Okay. Now we can decorate the back if we want. I might put that on the back, but I don't know if that would just be a waste. So I think I'm not going to do anything. Instead of using rings, I pulled out some of my... Um, Oh, where's the other one? There it is. I pulled out some, it's like some stretchy ribbon, but it's like red glitter. And I think that might look good. 
Let's see. I also have this I picked up on clearance. Little um, red with snowflakes, but red doesn't quite match, so I'm not going to use that. Gonna, that is definitely not going to match, that blue. Ah, then there was this. That's not going to match. It'll match this, but it won't match these as much. And this is kind of wide. You see how wide that is? So I think I'm going to I'm go one, two. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the red. Uh, if you didn't want to use this or ribbon, I've got ribbon too. Oh, you know what? I've got a... Yeah, that's not quite the right shade. So, see what I mean? You got you just you got pieces that are left over, and you don't really know what to do with it. Now you can use these. And they're, they work really well. I use these on a lot of journals. Only because sometimes when you make signatures, you don't gauge how thick your book is going to be. It never lays flat. But if you put, and then you can't add anything and blah, blah, blah. Right? Well, if you use grings, it gives you room to add things. It allows you to, you know, it gives you options. You can hang chunky charms off of them, you know, just like that. And then it opens up and it'll lay flat and you can close it. The only thing is, you know, it's, unless it's thick, <coughs> excuse me, you know, you get some, you get some wiggle room. So I normally don't use these unless I'm going to have three or four signatures or more. But you see, you know, it nothing falls out. I mean, they work perfect. I love this as an idea. Sometimes um, I get nervous about sewing my signatures in because you got to do it tight enough so everything holds, but sometimes, you know, the thread or whatever you're using, twine, rips through the paper. And, uh, I'm going to go this way. So, you know, you don't, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't seem very strong. Okay, so because I've only got two holes... I'm going to pull it through the top so it's like that All right, and then I'm going to cross it and I might do this two times this side and this side okay there we go You can mix this with lace if you wanted, you know, uh, lace through it at the same time you're putting your, um, elastic through. You don't have to use elastic. I do because it, it's, it gives a little, it's not so stringent and it's not so, um, hard on your papers. There we go. I like that. All right. Now here you can add a flower or whatever. I'm going to add a bell. Actually, I think I might add it to the ends.
and I'm going to knot it I'm using a square knot, which is uh, right over left and then left over right or vice versa. <clears throat> and we've got, now you can put a little bell on the end, which is what I like doing. Actually, let me see. Let me put another one on there. I think two will work. See? No, two, maybe three. See that? See what a third one will look. Yeah, I like the third one better. And it gives it more of a symmetry. And there you go. And you can open it. And you can add your pages. Well, it's a little tight. Let me pull the stretch a little. There we go. Now, that's for looks, but I don't know that if you're going to open it and then add your papers. Yeah, see, that opens just fine. And I'm using a thicker cardstock in the middle, and people can add their own little sentiments and pictures and things like that. I don't like those bells. I do not like the bells. So let me pull these off. Well, no, yes I do. I think that's pretty. What do you think? Pretty little Christmas sketchbook or scrapbook flowers. You can do them by years, you know. Um, Without the bells and whistles, so to speak, they'll stack or they'll they'll be really nicely on a shelf or whatever you want. You can do it, decorate them by year or a theme, any way you want. But like I said, my objective was to use up scraps, uh, like half sheet and things like that that I had left over from other projects. But um, on that note, I want to wish you a wonderful day. And uh, always remember to find the humor in life. Because if you don't, it sucks. Trust me, I know this. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Throw me a comment down in the bottom. Uh, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks, guys. And I'll talk to you soon.